Hello my friends and welcome back to our continue playing let's play the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. My name is Applet This Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today we're picking up a chapter 5, the Phantom West Cedar Still, where where today may just be the day. I mean, we've been going on with this game long enough where there's been a lot of story exposition and a lot of divergences and I really like to see how the story is coming together between these like three timelines but I just get the feeling that we may be walking into a trap and this may be the episode where someone may pay the ultimate price only one way to find out let's dive into it I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today as we need to find the door to the furnace chamber. You know, it, as we go into the lair of Frankstone, you just, you just, like I said, I, I'm starting to feel nervous and a little bit anxiety ridden and a little bit on edge here because something is bound to happen. And it's not going to be something nice. Okay, where did that drop? Okay. Interesting. It seems to be coming from over here. But it's not from this door. Huh. Maybe it's in the next area? Like, maybe it triggered it earlier or something. Or maybe it's around. Where the heck is this thing? Hmm. Uh, I hope you all are having a wonderful, fantastic day today. I don't know if I said that or not, but I, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm recording this video super late in the day. And the reason for that is because I, I spent like the entire day basically in bed. Uh, but I did get some antibiotics for my illness. And I'm hoping that, you know, that really... I feel better now. Let's just say that. I feel better now. Uh... Okay, so the thing has to be like... Whoa. That was weird. I would like zoomed in there. The heck? Stuck? There's a door with no hand. Um, there's a door with no handle. I have a feeling that I'm supposed to find a handle for that door. And then in the door is probably probably the thing that I'm trying to find. But I don't know of how to open that door. Yeah, I don't know how to open that door. Uh, let, let's look around a little bit more and then we'll, we'll head back. We did find that key. Well, I don't know what the key does. And we were a different person then, too. It's probably a bad idea to continue on, but... I'm not going to find everything in the first playthrough. Just not going to happen. Yeah. 
Yeah, th you this, okay? this looks fine. No, yeah, it's just this is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know. It's different. Yeah, th this is absolutely fine. I'm sure. Hmm. So this is the opposite way that Sam came in. You see that? I can look, but I can't touch anything. How do I get across this? Is the $1,000 question. Stupid doors? Yeah, I was hoping it would zoom in and I would like be able to hit a button, but as you can see, that doesn't seem to do anything. I, I don't know how to get that, uh, that box over there. I will take my word of advice from like five minutes ago. Paula's bird, you're not gonna find everything on your first playthrough. Don't, don't try to go crazy trying to do so. It, it's okay. I don't see anything up here. It's amazing how there's an area that exists, but there's nothing there. It's so weird. Alright, people. Chris? Chris? Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right, everybody ready for a take? Lights ready, sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set? Let's do it. And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. <sighs> the heck? And cut! Linda, that was sick! Totally, felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. No one Did else you hear, hear that, that noise? We were grown right at the end there. Yeah, uh, I heard that. Oh, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? Uh, Jamie was uh, Jaime. Sorry, Jaime was perfect. Uh, you were good. I I, I, I thought you were really good. Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. What the heck is that? You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. 
<laughs> it was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. God damn, kids, <laughs> that was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Oh, jeez. Dang. I'm going to go some air casual. Want to come outside, Ronnie? Uh, oh, um, uh, that's tough. Uh, casual. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. What is that? So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Please tell me not going down there. Use L2 to raise your camera. Holy. What can you see? Something freaky. The I don't heck? know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Whoa. Ain't that something? Ah, rats. What's that? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. The heck is that? <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. Door will take us to the machine shop. Only one way to find out. Well, let's go take a look. What is that behind us? There's I 
I have no idea what, what's going... I, I don't know what the monster or the demon or the enemy is in this game yet. Because Frank Soda is dead, but he's not, so... What could be chasing us, or... My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. <laughs> I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's, it's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional philosophies? Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. <laughs> I gotta get up there somehow. And I think that's a, the way to go. So I need to figure out a way to go up and around. Try over here. Can we have a key? Can we have a key? Can we have a key? Do we not have a key? I thought we had a key. Does the key not work here? Ooh. Not this. Why is it always clowns? Why is <laughs> always clowns? Creepy. But that didn't show up as a relic. I could have sworn we had a key. Maybe we lost the key when we like loaded or something. Could be possible it was a glitch. I don't know how to look at. Oh, I count it as a relic. Just to show up as a relic. Weird. Uh, we'll read about it later. Um. I, I don't. I don't know how to check my inventory, unfortunately. And I didn't see. I hope people are saying that I'm not exploring hard enough because I am. I just don't see anything. Like I'm in all the way back there. I found the uh, the relic. I don't find a way up there. And there's a locked door there, which I can't unlock, even though I thought I have a key. So. I just feel like I've explored the entire area and I don't know what where else to go or what else to do. Except just to go straight and maybe I'll loop back around. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss, though. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article. It's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking though, right? 
If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. And once again, I love how I love how the game keeps switching characters actively. It's a really cool thing. Lie that I can't jump up to. Here's something. This should open the door, right? Lack of power? Maybe there's something useful in there. Is it key? See, if this was like previous uh, Super Master games, they probably put a jump scare in there, um, in that room, even though there's nothing to be scared of. Like, they'll just put like a cat jumping past just to like jump you a little. Which aren't the most inventive scares. So I'm glad. They're, they're saving the scares for when they matter. So that way, when it happens, you're actually terrified. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. <sighs> hey, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like... Just us. So, I'm just in the way, man. Suspicious or impatient? Oh, this is tough. Impatient. All right, look. The truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. I saw a key in there. Think it could be useful? Could be, yeah. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. Find parts to repair the generator. Four of two. All right, well, let's go looking around, shall we? Right there. This might work with the generator. Part number two gonna be at over here. Can yep. Help with the generator. Just let me double check over here. I don't think I don't think there'll be anything extra.
Let's go repair the generator and uh, get the key. And then find out where the key leads to. While holding R2 to repair the generators. Oh, <laughs> I want these. Press X when the point pass over the success zone. Hitting the solid part adds bonus progress. Missing the success zone results in failure. Oh, I'm so bad at this. What is this? Oh, God. Oh. I was looking at the top instead of, like, the bottom. I, I think I'm doing okay. I haven't hit, like, the white, but I think I'm doing okay. Oh, my gosh. This is really, really hard. I feel like I'm playing Shadow Hearts. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got it on the white. At least I'm not missing. Like I said, I think Shadow Hearts for this. Nice job. Thanks. Oh, repairing generators. Isn't that something that survivors do in Dead by Daylight? Like there's something I you have to repair a certain number of generators, and when you do, uh, you can escape, and that's how you win the game. There's someone gonna be in the comment section and be like, "Yeah, but listen, you're not." Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh. Okay, I thought we just glitched through the floor, and I just floated on the floor. But no, there's something under here, and I would have never discovered this otherwise. Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. No big deal. We should be able to open the door now that we've got some juice. Yep. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Can I push this? This feels like the devil in me now. Can't stand on that though. I saw a key over in the office. Maybe it'll help us get into the boxcar. If we can just find a way to reach it. Maybe I gotta move this over more. Yeah, there we go. That did it. Really wish I had a flashlight. Really wish I had a flashlight. Can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Okay. What have we here? Oh, this is the uh the trinket box. Why does this thing keep following me around everywhere? It's kinda weird. Hmm. Maybe this key will open up the box car. Hey. You got the key? I'm yep. awesome like that. It's got a label on it. F Stone. Holy Frank Stone? Shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh man. See if the key unlocks the box car. What you're looking at? 
Make your way up to the train. Up. Still need to go up. Whoa. Okay. What do we have up here? Commanding or hesitant? Um. Uh, uh, hesitant. Are you really sure you want to do this? That looks dangerous. Yep. Whoa. All right, well. Ooh. Grab him, grab him, grab him, grab him. God, no mist. Thanks, man. You're telling you that. Quick on the draw than this guy. That thing's gonna get <sighs> yeah. someone killed. There's a reason Jaime never made starter in our football team. Yeah, coach was a jerk. You keep telling yourself <laughs> that. <bad. laughs> Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. Yeah, it's amazing once like I get in a rhythm, I can do it, like the generator thing. But when it pops up out of nowhere, I'm I'm like ah! Oh my god, that's a hand. What the fuck? Oh shit! Damn. Is is that a? Yeah. And it's got friends. Oh. This is insane. This is like Frank Stone's lair. Yeah. I was just about to use that word. Melvite's notebook. Cedar Still Corporation. I want to open it yet? I didn't say to open it. Who are these other people? D. Parker. No, want to get close. Feel every blow. Hear their screams. E. Kessler. This time make it last. Better control for the neck. Small cuts keep clean. Taste their fear. Eesh. Oh, there's his mask. A creature forged to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No, not what I see at night. Inspire terror. Cut plus fix. It's a sick notebook. This must be how Stone got in and out. Create a specific weapon for each of his victims. Whoa, that is that is wild. There's something down here. Uh, Calhoun's never connected Frank Stone to this. Calhoun's son and friend murdered state police. Monday, September 17th, 1962. Following several days of rumors and speculation, Sheriff Floyd Krusick last night confirmed he is treating the deaths of George Calhoun and Joyce Barton at Hawkline Point last Thursday night as a double murder. George Calhoun, 28, son of Cedar Hills, respected drugstore proprietor William Calhoun, and his friend Joyce Barton died after the car crash that caught fire. Deputies have been working tirelessly over the weekend and have now determined that Mr. Calhoun's car was parked when it left the road, indicating the involvement of a third party. The news of another murder in our peaceful community represents a shock for us all, coming so soon in the wake of the July killing of window, widow Dorothy Clay. But as in that episode, when Miss Clay's nephew Elvin was caught and convicted following a rapid investigation by Sheriff Kusich, we must all hope and pray for a swift and just outcome. Hmm. All right, we're gonna open this. Okay, that was creepy. Uh, no, don't open the door yet. Something Must new here. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. I don't see anything else. Let's open the door. Wait, what's this? Oh. 
I don't want to do this. Oh, it's gonna be like a brain or something. Oh God, it's just an entire head. Oh. Damn. I think she was one of Stone's victims. They never found her. They never found her. That would be a good time to leave and like tell the police. Ever found this place? How do you know? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad Yeah, now. I think that's a good idea. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. We can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now... We're tampering with evidence. Yeah, he's actually kind of smart here. That? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. That's all I knew I liked, Chris. Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? We should get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm done looking around. Let's get that guy out of here. We gotta go. We should wait outside until Robert comes back. Shocked you can't mean I'm handsome is I'm I'm more shocked than anything else. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. I'm just gonna get one quick shot first. Uh sure, yeah. Get yeah, fascination this to is exploit Frank Stone's actual victims for your movie. That's Kind of harsh, but we're making this movie together. Doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. Can't seem to get a second alone. We're alone now. Yeah, and all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help, and she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Let's... I started going out with you because you were really fun, and making this movie was really fun. But this... This isn't very fun anymore. So... What are you saying? I'm saying if we're not having fun anymore... Maybe we shouldn't be in a relationship anymore. Mm. Hopeful or gloomy? Hopeful. I want a relationship to work. Chris, I know it's been a little rough lately. I'm, I'm sorry if I've been a little anxious and stuff. I'm just, I want our relationship to work. You know? I know it can work. Aww. That scene kind of reminded me of uh, House of Ashes. So, should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there. Promise. Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is there a reason I should be? You? <laughs> Did we just like sense her to death though? Like the thing in the horror story, you know, when people get together, sort of a sign that. Oh, what the heck is this? Did I just get Chris killed? Huh? 
I don't know. What the heck? What was that? <gasps> what the heck was that? going on here oh my god what the heck is that What the heck? There's some Constantine stuff right here. What the heck is this? Uh, screw it. Left is always right. Six me on the game. No, come on, you can't you can't transport me to 2024. What the heck just happened? That was brutal. Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, just cut me in half. Time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else it. in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? I, I knew I got someone killed because Good of guess. the love scene. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. I wasn't on the love scene. Like they just knew. hugged, but still. Horror 101, don't get involved in romantic relationships. I should have known better. I sh so should have known better. What the heck was I thinking trying to go up against an undead creature from eternal darkness? Oh. Man. Just got like sucked up into that. I wasn't expecting that thing to rip me in half like that, or cut me in half, or whatever. That was. Oh. Lord. Movie review: Murder Hell, reviewed at the Second Fiendish Desires Fan Festival by your correspondent Rabbit Hound. Uh, at first glance, the only real issue with Murder Hill is its unskillful composition. The cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. The film sadly begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers to not scare us the audience, but instead show us how many other better horror films they've seen. The thing is, these aspects are not unusual in the genre and have more or less become par for the course on the festival circuits. What was unusual, however, was the oddly unsettling feeling that blanketed the 10 p.m. audience from the first frame, and honestly, I cannot explain why. The overall sense of dread that evening. Look at the picture. It sort of looked like the thing that was there. All green, too. The overall sense of dread that evening was palpable and unlike anything I had experienced before or am keen to experience again. 
The screening was mercifully cut short though as two festival goers began to assault nearby audience members before turning on one another, turning what was a below average movie going experience into absolute pandemonium. The reviewer could not get out of that theater fast enough. I'm not sure if this is a trick or gimmick or some kind of part of the filmmakers, I'm not sure how that would ever happen, but I have to imagine anyone with a mind to do something so devious would make a much better film than this. Martin Mill exerts a violent effects on those who watch it. Find a key? You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie. Launch Island Auction <laughs> That's House. That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Invoice Augustine Lieber, Jarrett Manor. Lot 106, description 8mm film, cinema cult rare. Quantity 1, price $10,000 plus dollars. Total tax 2024, which is very weird because that's the year. Can't be a coincidence. Amount due a little over twelve thousand dollars. Augustine has paid large sums for other eight millimeter films apart from the others. I still can't believe he got cut in half. God, just God. Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? Seems to be a glitch there. You see that on the mother screen? The the head. Is going through the screen. Missing a piece. Because the key for. Ah. Hmm. Something's missing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Find the missing piece of diorama. Hmm. Missing a few things here. Let's double check just to make sure. May have to go back downstairs. I don't see anything. You're coming with me, buddy. There we go. That's the diorama. Yep, that's the diorama. Yeah, we haven't been able to be Stan lately. I, I I don't think we've had a chance to be him at all. Okay, Diorama goes here. Okay, that goes in the missing piece. Some kind of hammer. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Oh, that's the thing I need. Okay, time to unlock that gate. Sweet.
What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads, and heads. Um. Uh, who? I, I know I could brute force this probably. Or, just, or, or that could happen. That was not so bad. Sure. Uh, all right. I'll. Okay. I thought it would take a little bit longer to boot force it, but I mean that works too. Hey, it saved me some time, so that's not bad. It was weird. Never break things open that quick. Maybe there's a higher power helping me out. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Or maybe it just randomly uh, opens up after like hooray. X amount of tries. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Rabbit? I've seen a rabbit before. It's like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. Something unearthly for sure. Oh, we got the victor soldier. You told me they must die. They must be violent to open the gates. Nine of twelve. And we missed a lot hey, of these Linda, things. Check this out. Oh, it's the helmet. Is that dried blood? That's Frank Stone's helmet. These mean anything to you? Ah, dang it, I didn't mean to advance dialogue. Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. <laughs> there is no tomb in The Prophecy of Pain. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I, I was getting into stuff with with, the, with one of the Come other. Come to think I, of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work. Mm -hmm. Okay, look. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? Busted. I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a <sighs> kind of guy. Crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd-pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> Respectful, I can offer you uh, my friendship or mischief. It's mischievous. Why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. That's official. You can't say that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. <laughs> Flip for it? Sure. But I get to call it. I call it or no deal. All right. What's it gonna be? Heads. Oh, it's always right. 
heads. Well, <laughs> dang it. Them's the brakes. <laughs> I'm all L's today. I believe we had a deal. Just all L's. Wait. No, no. Nice. Very nice. Oh, the cheating. Hey, worth a try, right? <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Worth every penny. I'm gonna start calling Edgar from now on. <laughs> oh. Guys is waving at you. This whole place is like a film set. Is it me with those eyes moving? Kitty and Demon? Oh, we know what this is. Mesopotamia, 23rd century BC. Statue from a Kenyan empire. Cuneiform on fragmentary clay tablets discovered nearby suggests it represents a mythological demon. Worship is believed to cable up by stowing new supernatural power in exchange for the devotion, protect them, and destroying their enemies. Hey, there's a good callback. I really did like House of Ashes. It was a great game. Augustine has an interesting representative of godlike destructive forces. I know some people don't like it as much, but I loved House of Ashes. I thought it was a lot of fun. Well, that's cheery. Is that a is that a little hope reference? I mean, so a House of Ashes reference, a little hope reference. How many more are we gonna get in this place? Anything about uh gold? Press to play. I am uh, speaking from the Tradewinds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue, where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest, or I don't know. Uh, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public, as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself. As it has been reported, an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here, I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no. Okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place, and several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Okay, okay, that was an explosion. Whoa. Did the movie open like some sort of portal to the to hell? Remembers that true about Murder Mill? Giant egg. Okay, giant egg. I think I know that picture. Like, I, I honestly think I know that picture. Um, is that the, the picture from uh, Paradise Lost? Or the, the painting that inspired Paradise Lost? It's basically uh, Satan uh, being thrown out of heaven. Not Paradise Lost. What is it? it there, there, I know there's a painting where, like, romanticizing the devil. Uh, that might be it. I, I feel like that's a real painting, though. I already see this book. Fold of Fear. Justine Jeffrey. And there's also some uh, cards on the bottom there. Chapter 28, Manifestation. Going, getting back to the settlement that would have been easy a few hours ago, but the starlight was now suffocated, strangled by storm clouds. Beatrice could neither see nor hear whether she'd been followed, and when the air was so full of driving rain, as well as the cackling of crows, Cutting across each other quickly enough to sound like mocking laughter. 
The cacophony never seemed to fade, no matter how much distance she put between herself and the stage. At least she didn't hear the squelching, the slithering, the screaming. Yet still, she pushed on through into the roaring darkness. There was no way she could stop. Not now. Not when she had no clue what that thing might be. The thing that Stamper had called Conjured Created. Not when the memory of it rising from the sledge and ripping Ron apart was still burning bright in her mind. Something smashed against her shoulder, sending her spinning tumbling backward into stone, sliding down into shallow salt water with a noisy splash. She landed with a painful cry. The sharp metallic taste of blood filled her mouth, and she released an awful scream as her nerves began to burn. She tried to force herself back up, only for a bad ankle to buckle. She dropped down with a scream of pain. Beatrice reached for her rocks, reached for the rocks for support, trying to find purchase, but her grasping fingers met only what felt like sinew and spines and sludge. For all the tears began to fill her eyes, she could just about see Dwayne's, Juani's form looming over her, still dripping with the mud it was born from the gore of friends. Yeah. The clouds closed above, the rain began to drum once more, and not an appendage in the monster's loathsome form caught the distant, dying half-light as his body moved to strike. Interesting that in, that ended on page 180 as well. And I bring that up because if you know, fiction book in this world, maybe Dark Valley another. Uh, if you know about a film series called Final Destination, then 180 has a lot of meaning. Okay, I think that I'm going to go ahead and call it a quits here, though, for the day. Uh, let's go ahead and read about the clown. Kenneth Chase, Jeffrey Hawk, the name does not matter. With this circus, your past is forgotten, and entity, identity is about the performance. But don't be fooled by the colorful costume. The wearer has a trick or two to play. They say laughter is infectious, but this clown's gags are downright toxic. I've read about blueprints, fiction book. Augustine doesn't hide her interest in supernatural and violent fiction. A blood-curdling tale, and makes her grateful such monsters are confined to pages. Yeah, about that. Demonic statue, an ancient statue of a demon with a collection of its rare and mysterious. When does Augustine's innocent curiosity slide into guarded superstition? Old newspaper article. An old newspaper article detailing the crimes of Frank Stone. He left a stain of bloodshed that soaked deep into Cedar Hills before his finally stopped. How could a murder slow owner like Stone go undetected for so long? A notebook filled with sketches of weapon designs, a unique one for each of Frank Stone's weapons. When he wasn't carrying out his crimes, he was busy planning the next one. A sensationalist account of Frank Stone's capture, written by Cedar Hill's own Sheriff Lloyd Cusich. With so much going unnoticed under the Sheriff's watch, how could he be certain the case ended with Stone? A horror magazine fixate on the obscure and unwatchable. Murder Mill fits the billing, but if the movie itself was so par, why'd it have such an impact? A book... Okay, I've read that before. A deed of sale of an 8mm uh, film strip. Augustine is a committed movie collector with money, no obstacle. What was the real value of these items to her? A radio broadcast detailing a riot that broke out at a Murder Mill screening. Whenever Lin wherever Linda's movies went, violence followed. No wonder she wants anything, uh, nothing more than distance herself from it. All right, my dear friends. Well, my name is Lafayette This Bird. This is your story-based gaming channel, and our continued fun let's play of the casting of Frank Stone. Whew! I I fear this when I start the episode. When I start this episode, I was like, you you just gotta know that something's gonna go down. I I didn't know though that choosing to fight without any like other options, just choosing fight was an instant death scenario. For our friend, um, Epson chat for him. Uh, and what happened to Chris? She got blown into a portal into another world. I mean, Jaime may be dead, but where did she go? Uh, only time will tell. On the next one. Until then, my dear friends, hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. So long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. 
Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.